Ladies and gentlemen, GameStop is up over 10% here on the day. This has been expected. If you are a viewer of this channel, I have made multiple videos talking about this, and it's possibly here. This could lead to a massive short squeeze, which could affect also stocks such as AMC in a very positive way. Now, GME earnings will be the big catalyst for this name, but you are getting pretty good news coming out today with GME as well. So we're going to look at the Ortex data here. We're going to look at the technical analysis and what fundamentally just happened with GameStop. So let's get into all of this information. If you guys want to be up as well on the trades as soon as I make them, link down below in the description of this video. We have had a trade on GME that is paying out nicely at this moment in time but the best thing is there's still a lot of time left on that trade and it covers earnings so if you guys want to access that link down below in the description of this video hit the like button all of that subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already so i want to jump straight into it with the information so gamestop stock jumps amid reports of revamped customer rewards program it says right here video gaming website kotaku might not be saying that right reports that the name of gamestop's power up rewards membership will be changed to gamestop pro next month and its price will increase to 25 dollars a year from 15 dollars a year new perks available to members will include five percent off pre-owned games and five percent off collectibles according to kotaku <laughs> Uh, I, it's not even, I don't know how to say that, okay? Citing screenshots of internal corporate training materials that were shared with the website. So fundamentally, this is positive. Now, to what degree this will have an impact on GME's fundamentals remains unknown, but this is happening after GME was profitable their last quarter. So that looks pretty good for future profits with GME. Now, on that note, the big catalyst for GME is going to be whether or not they remained profitable last quarter. Because they made a net profit of $48 million the last reported quarter that we have, but this next quarter, analysts are expecting them to lose, and by next quarter, the Q1 2023, analysts are expecting GameStop to have lost $0.12 cents per share. Now, if they can give you a profit, then it's going to be off to the races, and I would imagine GME doubles, if not triples from here. Maybe more. Hard to say. But right now, you are sitting at the highest level you have seen since last earnings. And even last earnings, you closed at $23.87 per share. GME is trading at $24.28 per share. You are the highest that you have seen on GME since November of 2022. This is very encouraging. This is a very good sign, especially again, you closed higher than last earnings. And GME did hit a high of $27 last earnings. So we know this stock can be very explosive on upside moves. Now, the volume on GME today was about 6.2 million about three times their average volume. So you're definitely seeing some encouraging signs here. Now, shorts, they got a long way to go before they get out of these short positions. And due to the volume being um, low on GME, if you do see the volume continue to increase, that's probably gonna fuel an upside move for GME. And if we take a look at the option activity we're currently seeing, you've seen two institutional trades today. One of them was a July 21st $20 call worth $250,000. Another one was a May 26th $20 call worth $180,000. So you are seeing some bullish trades that are being made by institutional investors. But if we take a look at the overall option activity with GME, for this Friday, the open interest on the call side, 69%.
Open interest on the put side, about 31%. But the volume on the day, 78.35% of all options bought or sold for this Friday was calls. 21.65% was puts. So a lot of people are betting GME will go higher. Same thing with next week's expiration for June 2nd. 75.92% bullish volume today. 24% bearish volume. Open interest on the call side, about 76%. Open interest on the put side, 24%. So you're definitely seeing some bullish bets being placed on GME right now. Now, if we take a look at the overall data here on Ortex, short score of 89, $1.12 billion of short positions on GME, estimated short interest of free flow at about 19%, free flow out on loan 27.79%, 74.22 million shares out on loan, days to cover. This is the thing I have been most bullish about when it comes to GME. Days to cover, 16.76. That means it would take 16, almost 17 days for shorts to cover on their short positions if they needed to. And what that's basically telling you is volume has been low. And when volume is low, there's obviously not as many shares trading hands. Liquidity is a little bit more stretched. If you have, call it a 5 million share short position on GME, it's going to take a while to get out of that short position, even when the volume is 6 million, like it was today. The short positions can get squeezed very, very quickly when the days to cover is this high. And that may or may not be what we start to see with GME because you do have 52 million shares that are sold short in GameStop. So 6 million for volume compared to 52 million shares that are sold short. Those numbers don't look good for shorts, right? If you continue to see GameStop ramp up higher, that likely fuels a short squeeze from here again earnings that's going to be the next big catalyst for gme if there is profits on this earnings report i expect at least a double at least 40 dollars for gme and i think this would help to to kind of fuel a gamma squeeze as well because if we take a look at the option activity for gme it's it's definitely present but the options themselves are very cheap. So if, if, if you take a look at something like June 16th and you wanted to buy a $30 call for GME, $67. What? Why is that so cheap? A $35 call is $35. Very cheap here, okay? The next big option expiration for GME going to be likely June 16th, right? You're going to see a lot of option activity for May 26th as well, because a lot of people like those weekly options and a big strike for GME is this $25 strike across the board. So a lot of the option activity that you're seeing is on that $25 strike. These options were up over 200% here on the day. And even the $25 strike for this Friday has $5,600 for open interest. If you times that by $100, you are looking at 560,000 shares that could potentially be bought by market makers if GME's stock continues to go higher. Relative to the volume, that is huge. Just at the $25 strike right now, you would have about 10% of the total volume that would need to be bought by the market makers at just that one strike. Not to mention the $24.50, $25.50, $26 strike, so on and so forth. So you're getting some pretty bullish bets here on GME, and the options are cheap. I mean, they do support 
uh, the potential for a rally here with GameStop, or an even bigger rally, I should say, here with GameStop. And if we pull up the options as well to get a little bit better of an analysis, again, like I said, the $25 strike is the most popular expiration for GME, or, or uh, strike for GME. You've seen 22,000 calls placed today at the $25 strike. 1.5 thousand puts. It, it, there's really no comparison here. Even if you look at this as a whole, the blue is much larger than the orange, mean, meaning that all option expirations for GME are overwhelmingly bullish today. And that's a good sign. If you look at the total option activity for the day, the call volume is 118,000. Put volume, 46,000. That's great. That's a great ratio. Now, on the ask or above, meaning that did people want to get into these positions quickly or not, 64,000 calls were placed at the ask or above compared to 23,000 puts placed at the ask or above. So almost a three to one ratio for the urgency for bullish bets compared to bearish bets. So all of this really supports a continued rally with GME. But again, earnings is going to be the big story. And if we take a look at the charts for GME, something very positive did happen today. You broke out above one, this line that I drew out, this this real downtrending line, this, this level of resistance, broke out above that, and also the 200-day moving average. 200-day moving average, any time you break that is going to be a very important level for algorithms, for shorts, for retail investors. It can really give you that boost. Typically, if you don't get rejected at this level, because 200-day moving averages are big levels of rejection, if you don't get rejected, more times than not, the rally will continue. Same thing if you look at something like an AMC, right? Which is a stock that, that we all love and follow. If you break out above the 200-day moving average, you tend to rally exponentially, right? What we've seen really back here in January of 2021, you break out above the 200-day, you rally 10x. You break out above the 200-day, you, re you really held that, and you rally 10x again from there. And then most of the time, it's a level of resistance. So if tomorrow is also green and the stock continues to rally, the stock could go crazy from here. And again... If you do see profits on the next earnings report, you're going at minimum, in my personal opinion, to $35 per share, $40 per share, depending how good things are and depending if shorts do get squeezed out of their positions and if volume comes in, keep in mind, 6 million shares trading hands still is very light volume compared to what you've seen in 2022 even. 98 million shares trading hands in a day. If you see that kind of volume again, 783 million shares trading hands during the rally in 2021, if you see anything close to that level of activity, the stock could forget what I'm saying here. The stock could go much higher than that. And it's going to lead up other stocks such as AMC as well, guys. So that is going to do it. Here in this video, I wish I had more information for you. I wish I had a crystal ball because I would be the first to let you guys know that a short squeeze is coming. But I will tell you, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty encouraging, especially that high days to cover. So that is going to do it here in this video. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. If you guys want to see the exact trade that I have on GME, Link down below in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.